Got some good information on the weather. Uh, winds aren't horrible, but you know, thermals kick off. Not very nice winds sometimes, so you don't really want to rely on windy saying it's three miles an hour when it's noon time and you see the flag whipping and it says gusting 16 because it'll get up there uh, during the thermal cycles. So we're gonna go see what thermals or um, thunderstorms in the vicinity really means. I just see a lot of building potentially thunderstorms. That's what I'm seeing from it. So let's get the nitro unpacked and get out there in the heat and the bumpiness and go look at some clouds. guys that's it for me I climbed up to 5,700 you just can't find the tops on a day like this with so much uh, convective activity um, got a transceiver transmission coming in okay, myself talking so yeah um, I'm just I shut off the power when I come on down so this is the type of weather report that will keep a army black hawk helicopter from flying but us on our puny little pieces of fabric and all our stupidity can go fly if we want to um, so this is this is what you'll see that what you might see with thunderstorms in the vicinity i mean you might not see much at all you might actually see thunderstorms but actually behind this huge cloud near the texas louisiana border there is a thunderstorm it's pretty dark i don't know if you can tell there's some dark sky way over there and that's actually in my weather port uh where they projected it to be around so that was pretty accurate but everything else is uh a little different i'm seeing cloud base around oh gosh what i say 3800 3200 maybe and i went out the way up to 50 5800 and you can be above some of the clouds but other ones it's just I mean, they're just tall. I could get above them, but I don't feel like yamming the throttle. F and I got the heat pretty high up there to 450 on the nitro, and I don't want to mess it up too much. But yeah, so that's thunderstorms in the vicinity for you. Might not be as crazy as you think. You ever do wing overs and you're just kind of like it's not your day you know you just kind of got that light head feeling so take it easy maybe like one more so, um, yeah that's enough for me some days just not up for it maybe you can see it now the darkness way off in the distance over there that's the only thunderstorm in the vicinity I really see, and it looks like it might be touching the ground because I can see the horizon pretty far out everywhere else. It's getting bumpy down here, back into warm thermal zone. It's hot. So 
normally I might keep the power off all the way from 5800 and just land on like a nice smooth day next to my van or in the middle of the LZ since there's power lines but today I think um, just when it's thermally like this I'm gonna put my I'm gonna turn my engine on so I don't get dumped at the last second I could use that power if I want to so I know this may sound weird but the whole way down from 5700 once I got below cloud base has been pretty bumpy but I've actually enjoyed the peacefulness because I paraglided a lot in Korea and so now I kind of miss it and rather than trying to thermal I just got to ride through the thermals and just like think about what I'm kind of missing out on but like kind of get in that element again and it felt good <laughs> But I'm going to have to get back on my A-game here because we're in another critical mode of flight. And that is the landing midday. And I see the windsock pretty much right down our runway, which uh, the long axis of the track down there. So I'll, I'll have to walk a little bit because unfortunately my approach end has power lines. And I could totally do this without power, but... I just don't think it's worth the, worth the risk. I mean, what I felt coming down is just like climbs and draw, uh, descents. And I really don't want to get dumped close to the ground, so we're on the power now. And I'm just going to bring it in nice and smooth. A smart person would be well over the power lines coming in, so that way they don't get dumped into it on the edge of a thermal or whatever you call it. I'm going to kind of parallel the power lines so I have it out to the right. It's looking pretty good, lined up with the wind. Exactly. Power's on. I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> Stumbled a little bit and that'll do. Um, yeah, that was uh, it was a good flight. It looks real dark over there now, but um, beautiful skies, a little cumulus. I dig it. So I've been sitting here for a while doing a time lapse of that uh, thunderstorm over off in the distance. It really just looks like darkness to me, but I've heard thunder about five times since landing. I've been sitting here for maybe 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, that makes sense because they said thunderstorms in the vicinity, but they also said it would be on the Texas-Louisiana border, like I said, and that's kind of over in that general area. But really, nothing else is uh, formed. I see some darkness maybe going on over there, but yep, there you have it. You can still fly. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be careful out there. Don't push the weather limits, especially middle of the day. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Later.